the STEAM studio, one of the exciting things about that, the many exciting things, is that was an effort where we grew it from the inside out, where the faculty who were teaching there, we sat with them and said, how do you want the space to reflect the way you're teaching in the 21st century? Have at it, folks. It was a big box. And so faculty coming together and saying, let's imagine this. Let's imagine a 21st century classroom different. What do we need? Most importantly, what do our students need? So thinking about that and the spaces that bring you together, allowing for students to gather in a group quickly to solve a problem, faculty from different disciplines to be working in a shared space, a place where we can bring in our partners in the K-12 system. It's much more than a classroom. It's a space for us to be exploring, it's a space for us to be creating, and it's a space for us to be building partnerships. And it's been crafted by the faculty and shaped by the students. So what goes on in STEAM Studio is, it is basically a nexus of art and science, a place where our students can come together and really have an interdisciplinary experience, a collaborative moments that they might not have if they stayed in each of their separate disciplines. It's designed to support mechatronics and sculpture specifically, although it's open to all UNC A staff and students. So the water jet takes street pressure water and bumps it up to 50,000 PSI and pushes it through the material with garnet beside it. So it can cut through something 12 inches thick. It can basically cut anything. So that's what makes this exciting, is it's really something that belongs to the heart of the enterprise, which is education and teaching and learning and curiosity, and it's a very special space. Mm -hmm.